It's September 30th, 2024. We're in Savannah, Georgia, and these are passion flowers that have come from our bucket there. We're growing them on the side of the fence here, and this is the side of the fence we don't want them to grow, so I'm just gonna show you how to dig up passion flower suckers so that you can replant them somewhere else and plant them. For the record, it is important to note that for passion flower suckers, you can clone the plants very easily. I see we saw that little baby. Uh -oh. what? Right. This one? No. Right here is another plant that just is like this top. Well, I saw this one. Okay. But this is what I'm trying to show the camera. <laughs> this is what they look like. All of this is root, and then it's the very top where it comes out. We're just sticking them in a cup of water for now. You let it just look at all those roots. You just put the shovel in, wiggle it a bit, and it should pop right off. Same in this one. This one already has butterfly eggs on it, so I'm actually just going to snip those off because there's too many butterflies here. Survival of the fittest, you picked the wrong plant. So this one's bigger. You can see here, it's already been chopped once when they mud. So we just go in and wiggle under the dirt until it'll pop loose. And they'll just keep popping back up at this spot, which means we just get to keep pulling them up and transplanting them to other locations. These are native here, which means a lot of these, any of these we don't plant in our garden at better spots. We can literally just plant in the woods as more host plants because there are already quite a few wild ones growing here because they are a native host plant and food source for animals. We've not found any wild fruit, unfortunately, but we have a lot of fruit from ours that are growing some seed. There's the biggest one in here. Uh, this one seems to actually be climbing the fence, so we can see if they'll let it. No, they'll those. chop it. They just come in and they just chop everything down to a certain level, so. Okay, well you can show all of the eggs up here. All those little things are eggs. Probably won't survive this, but they're gonna chop this down anyway, so they wouldn't survive anyway, so we'll, we'll see. That's a zebra longwing. Lay him on the one that's on the fence. And last one. And that's how easy it is. Yep. In the cup of water it goes, and then we'll transplant these to various locations in the actual garden woods, give some to the neighbor who wants to grow, a living I I privacy screen. Do they sound squeaky? Yes. Okay, but yeah, that's how you collect passion flower suckers. And then for these, put them in a pot, keep it well watered, and if possible, keep it under a big glass jar or a clear plastic bin to help track humidity. If you have a greenhouse, that works. Otherwise, it'll wilt like crazy. Okay, that's it.